I'm going to uh, finish up the Kai Wan let's look at the demonstration and uh, also uh, show you how I cut the rim off later after I trim. Now I want to keep the rim flat so I don't trim it yet but after that I trim and uh, remove a little bit of a clay from the side so the uh, spout will look much more hanging out, get stretched out yeah, for better looking. And also before I uh, start to trim, I already used the sharp knife to kind of clean up the, the spout a little bit. So if you look at closer, the spout is, is, there's a little hang in there. So when you pull it out, the water hopefully is not gonna drip from the side. So later on, you can come and take a look at the, how I cut it. Last week I show you that you cut from this angle first and then kind of shave it up, okay, shave it up. And uh, for shave it up the uh, side, you can use a very sharp knife, but this tool is very, uh, very nice for shaving up the clay. Okay, it's called short form, and I will show you how to use this tool. Where can you get those? Uh, Amazon yeah. or hardware store, Home Hard Depot. Store? Yep. Sure. Yeah, it's called short form. It's S U R F O R M. Short form. F O R M. Again, the uh, clay is still stuck. You can see it's not like thick coming up. It's like a tape, so that you can tell the clay is soft. A little bit. First thing I do is I try to level, level the foot. From uh, you wanna level when you wanna level it from. You we'll cut from the low point and then I slightly uh, move the tool. And for detail, you want to use uh, the tool has more corner, more of the uh, 90 degrees. It will be easier to get in the corner better. Right, so usually you want to get this part right. Okay. Uh, if you're not sure, you can measure it or estimate before you cut it. And if you know how to uh, knock it and hear the sound, okay, uh, it's, I cannot tell you, uh, you have to experiment by yourself. Okay. Or maybe you sacrifice several pieces. Because to get that part right is, is very important. You are going to get the reference from here, that inside corner and outside corner. If you don't get this part right, you end up with having too much clay there, then you're going to end up with too much clay on the outside. So. The very final trimming, you can speed up the wheel so that your surface will be smoother. Because the, uh, you pull out the spout, so the, uh, the shape is gonna be uh, changed a little bit. That's why there's a little bit wobble there. could use the shiny rock to compress the foot. Usually you don't want to have that the corner too sharp. Because the corner too sharp, you bump it on the table or some hard surface, it will chip up. So usually you want to use um, some kind of a hard material to compress it and round the corner a bit. a little bit of a chattery mark here. Okay, 
that's that's how you hold the tool and the way you want the tool to kick, kick back your tool so it doesn't matter how flexible your tool is it's the matter of how you hold the angle the angle is more important so even you see that this is not very flexible, but you can still manage it to get your chatter to mount. And I want to make the uh, better circle so that I have a little guide to know where to cut it. Okay, just draw a circle, and then uh, you can use a knife, a sharp knife to just shave it off. Okay, shave it off. Or, use this tool. You do it little by little, right? See that? Get much better control using this tool. So you use the, uh, the needle to draw a nice circle and then you just follow it and uh, just shave it off little by little that's what I want I prefer using without a handle that is easier for me to turn my fingers right so you see that this part here, the shape looks like more hanging out. It's much nicer, right? Much nicer. So that's the design. And then you come back and use a sponge of... Uh, if you have uh, porcelain, yeah. You have porcelain, sponge it is fine. But if you have stoneware, when you try to use a sponge, you tend to throw out the... Uh, the grog so your surface will be rough so if you have a stoneware with a very groggy clay don't use a sponge use a chamois or use a paper towel this paper towel you wet it and then you just go and rub around it and paper towel will be uh, easier on the uh, stoneware even with the b-mix even the b-mix yeah b-mix it depends on if you have a B mix with grub or without grub. Without grub? Yeah, without grub might be uh, okay with the sponge, but you, you try it and see if you find out there's a very uh, rough surface, just change the uh, change into using the paper towel for sure. Okay. So that's the uh, Guy one body and then uh, the top. So just trim the lid, the knob, and then you're gonna hold it on your hand. Okay, so let me trim this one. And this part here, I could smooth it out further. Okay, just give you an idea of how you shave it out. Okay, but normally you don't want to have the, this part rough like that. So I will take care of it later. Are you going to do the yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. For the water coming out, okay, little well. Uh, and here, they, there are uh, several ways to do it. People do uh, drill holes here on the lid. So the water is coming out from the lid when it pulls, okay? Or if you're gonna have uh, like a channel for the water to come out, so you have to cut the groups, uh, maybe five or six of them, okay? Um, usually you wanna do it when it's a little bit um, drier. This is a little bit wet, so the scorpito too isn't very uh, easy to cut because it's got stick on here. But you just get an idea when it's a little bit drier, the scorpito too is very easy to cut through it and then cut it channel there but now the clay is sticking in here so it's very hard to to do that i will wait a further dryer okay further dryer to to do that and uh, i i have my 
I, do I have it here? So you can see my, uh, it's not out yet. Oh, I didn't yeah. probably did find it. Oh, it's still in the fire. So just, just wait till it's drier and then you just cut. You can see that there's a little groove there. So yeah. You just use that knife too. Yeah, use a knife. Or oh, if you have a very sharp knife, we just go and uh, just cut, cut, okay, cut out and then dig out there. But you don't want to do it when it's too wet. Okay, this is a little bit wet to do it. But the once it's drier, it's easier. Okay, drier is easier. So trimming the knob. I told you that to leave this part a little bit more clear thicker clay there so you have room to design your your knob. Clay is too soft to hold it so I would use the water. But then uh, you have to learn how to tap center it. Okay? So I use this loop tool because the clay is a little wet. That's why I use the loop tool to get the most clay out of it. But then you want to have a little of uh, something to hope for you to lift it up easier. So you want to have a little bit undercut. Cut it uh, a small clay off here. Mm. Oh, the, the wheel? Wheels and the wheel starts going. Okay. No, that wheel doesn't stop completely. Yeah. Okay, so you have, you want to have a finger to uh, go underneath to, to pick it up, lift it up easier. So that's why a uh, little undercut. And this tool is spe specific designed for that purpose. And since this is one hand holding, the body and the other finger is gonna push on the lid. So you wanna have a little bit of a groove there so you hold it there without coming up. Okay. So you can cut a little bit deeper here. Right, it's for the design, okay, for the design. So I try to uh, trigger the uh, vibration using the tip here, okay? The tip is catching here, so that the clay start to trigger my clay. And then I just hold it and let it bounce all the way down. Yeah. This part here wasn't very clear, so I am not going to uh, keep the chattery mark. Just remove it, right? And then just do. Okay, so if you got a tool, you can do all different kind of design, design on the surface. So it was too wet to 
cut the uh, little channel for the, the liquid to come out. So now I've been waiting for a day and it's a little bit drier. So I am going to cut out that to finish up. So I'm using the uh, Scrofido very fine tip uh, tool to do all the uh, carving. Just cut out from, cut out the channel for the water to come. Right, so that's the uh, final result for the channel for the water for the tea to coming out from there. Okay, thanks for watching.